Hello, hello, all of you beautiful faces. So today, welcome to my very first video of regret or recommend. But before we get into those things, let's hear from the Word of God. Today I am speaking to you about the appearance of evil and what the Word talks about how we are to even abstain from what looks wrong not just what is wrong, but what even has just the appearance of evil, which will pretty much flush out everybody this once saved, always saved mentality. Because if God doesn't even want you to be involved in anything that appears evil, then you can't just go out and live however you want. And all my past, present, and future sins are covered under the blood of the Lamb. Mm -mm. God expects holiness from us. He expects us to lead lives that are holy and pleasing unto Him. That is a command in His Word. It is a requirement of us. And so today we are speaking to you from 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 21 and 22. And the Word says, test all things. I was talking about this in another video and I'm not sure if it was one that got put up or if it was um, one that hasn't gotten put up yet, but we are to put all things in the light of the word and test it against the light of the word. That's what this means. Test all things and hold fast to what is good. Verse 22, abstain from every form of evil. We are to take our actions, our relationships, the things that we are involved in, and we are to shine it in the light and of the word. That means we are to compare it and judge it against what God commands us in his holy Bible. And if it doesn't stand up, then it should be gone. Because the Bible says, if your right eye causes you to sin, then it should be plucked out of your head because it's better to be without that body part and make it to heaven than to go to hell and keep that body part. So that is not saying, look, if you looked at somebody, pluck your eye out so you can never look at somebody and lust again. What it's saying, it's an analogy. Change the behavior. If something like you're, if you're online, if your internet connection is causing you to be in pornography, sin, gossip, slander, backbiting, if it is causing you to do things like maybe even cheating on your loved one, then you should cut the internet out of your life because if it's redder, it's better for you to be without the internet and make it to heaven than to be involved in the internet and not be able to make it into be with the heaven, with the Lord in heaven. And I believe very soon, look, even the powers that be are telling us the season. On the commercials, they're saying the apocalypse is coming. They're saying it. There's literally a commercial that says the apocalypse is coming. That's because it is. And Satan knows the seasons. And there are many Christians who just think that they can just live however they want and they're going to make it to heaven. They get to drink. They get to live in sexual immorality. They get to um, have affairs outside of marriage. They get to say, oh, well, we're separated so I can sleep with other men. No, the Bible says you have to forward a legal bill of divorcement. And it even goes into very specifics about that. But I'm giving you blanket, blanket examples of people. There are going to be people who think they're going to stand before the Lord and they're going to say, Lord, Lord, but I did this in your name. I did that in your name. And he's going to say, depart from me. You person who lived in sin, a worker of iniquity is somebody who lives in sin. There is no gray area with the word, you guys. If it says your name can be blotted out of the book of life, that means there's a chance you may not make it. Once saved, always saved is a lie. It is one of Satan's greatest lies over the body of Christ. So don't risk it. 
wouldn't you rather cut it out, whatever it is in your heart, than to risk spending eternity in hell? I don't know about you, but I would. And I'm even considering YouTube as one of those things because of all of the slander and backbiting and gossip that goes on here. I would rather be without it and even the platform to preach, or I will just remove comments altogether. I'm praying about what the Lord wants me to do, but I will not continue to be even in any form of evil. Look, I have made mistakes and I will be the first to admit it. You guys, I tell you all the time I'm not perfect and I never will be. But I am the type of person that when I see it and I know that God's dealing with me, I, I deal with that issue. And I am not going to live with one foot in the world and one foot in the word and then be like one of those people that stand before the Lord going, well, I don't understand. Why am I left behind? Why am I still here? I don't want to get into heaven by the skin of my teeth. I want to get in and hear well and done, well done, good and faithful servant. Don't you? Wouldn't you want your father to be pleased with your life, you guys? It's time to examine our hearts and get everything right with God to those who overcome it says in Revelation about the seven churches of the last days to those who overcome so be an overcomer today so today is I'm sorry something just flew into my eye today is the first video of my new series called regret or recommend or it could be reject or recommend. It's either one. And I am going to talk to you about some of my birthday items that I got this year for my birthday. And the first one is the ColourPop Loose Pigments. I use these today. I actually did a video and something went wrong with the video and I had to take it down. But um, I have only been more disappointed with one loose pigment and that was one that came in um, one of my monthly subscription bags that I no longer subscribe to that had zero pigment but um, that's how I feel about the ColourPop loose pigments I was so excited about getting these for my birthday and I literally am not impressed with these at all not in the slightest I used today this very beautiful mauve. It's actually the exact color of my fingernails, just so you can see it. My nails are a very pretty mauve with a gold undertone. The only difference is this has more of a silver undertone. When I put it on my eyes, my eyes look like a baby pink, a baby, baby pink, silvery pink. I didn't like it at all. It's not at all what I would put on my eye color, ever. So I had to go in with this color right here which is supposed to be like a burgundy and put this on top of it and it finally gave me somewhat of a mauve look that I was looking for on my eyes so I will have to say on my ColourPop loose pigments that these are a regret I honestly wish I could have every single dollar back to get something I know that would be good like my Ace Beauté Oceanic palette which I really want badly that just came out but as you all know ColourPop has no return policy they absolutely suck and my friend Ashley is the one who did a lot of research on them ColourPop has so many you guys can look it up yourself they the Better Business Bureau has so many complaints on ColourPop. It is pathetic that this company is still in business with the amount of complaints. When she was telling me, I just could not believe my ears as to how many complaints this company has monthly on how poorly their product performs and how poorly they're treated by, the, by their customer service. And my daughter is dealing with them regarding a highlighter that they sent me that looks absolutely nothing like the picture nothing and they are giving her a hard time so color pop has now officially lost my business I just will not I may get some of their things from Ulta because I know I can return it 
but I will not do business with ColourPop anymore because I will only give my hard-earned money to a company that believes in their product enough to allow people to return it if they're dissatisfied and that treats their customers with respect. So ColourPop Loose Pigments get an absolute reject, no recommend, not at all. The second item I am reviewing is the Mega Jelly Loose, or the not it's not loose, it's a jelly highlight from Wet n Wild. Um, I have it on my eyes today. I had to deepen it with another eyeshadow, which I will explain, but first of all, this is another reject. I, I can't even believe how bad this is. First of all, I'm opening it and using it for the first time today. Um, part of it is already dried out. This is how little product you get. When you put it all to the side with a brush, it is about 70, maybe, maybe about 35% um, full. That's it. You get 35% and the rest is empty space inside this container. So let me twist it so that you guys can see how much is actually missing out of here. This dries so fast that you cannot even blend it out on your eye. I, I, I've never used anything this difficult that's wet, a wet product that is this difficult to work with. So I, I have plenty of jelly shadows that I absolutely love. I mean, and that I can blend and blend and work out like Butter London is one of them. Theirs are absolutely fabulous. They you they stay wet long enough for you to blend it out or to leave it deep. And I, I've just never worked with anything this difficult to use. So, and not to mention that my eyes started stinging. I mean burning. The skin on my eyes started burning. And my eyes started immediately watering to try to flush out the chemicals that was going into my eyeballs from this product. So, these are going back to Ulta. Um, my next product is the Koki Artist Palette, and this one is called Treasured. This is what the palette looks like. I bought this probably about three months ago, maybe four months ago, and took it out for the first time to use it over this weekend with, when I was staying with my mom at the hospital. And this gets an absolute, I mean, snaps, it gets recommends, it gets flying stars. If I could shoot off fireworks, I would be exploding them in the sky because I got this for $10. And this is so pigmented. When I went to stay with my mom, I forgot to take my um, primer, my eyeshadow primer. This went on with such pigment, stayed in place, stayed all day. It was amazing amazing with no base. I am so impressed you guys and I'm really disappointed that I wanted to the Koki white palette. It's a big white palette that's $20 and then there's a Koki black palette that's $20 as well that are like three or four times the size of this one. And there are $20 on their website and I wanted those for my birthday and I got the ColourPop instead. If I could take back my ColourPop, I'd take it back and I'd get those, those two Koki palettes because they're formula is amazing. So Koki, the artist, the treasured artist palette gets uh, just a complete and utter recommend you guys. And if Ipsy still has it, snap it up because it's amazing. Amazing. And the, let me see. I think those were the only products that I had right here for now of my reject or recommend. I will be doing more items as I go through my birthday stuff and I will be showing you a lot more things soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I pray that God keeps you safe in this crazy, crazy world we live in and I pray you guys have an amazing, amazing rest of the week. Love you.